Hi guys, Monica here. So it is not summer, it's not spring, it's still a little chilly outside, but I'm taking advantage of the nice weather and I've decided to grill. And I'm not the only one because I've seen everyone in town today and they were pulling their grills under their carports and their garages, buying charcoal. So I'm not the only one that had the bright idea. So I have decided to make two dinners in one. I'm going to make my Saturday night and my Sunday night meal all together instead of firing the grill up twice. Um, and because Sundays I'm usually kind of busy with church functions. So I have decided to make some barbecue ribs, some pork chops with some uh, potatoes, corn on the cob, eggplants, um, and some bread. And that is pretty much it. So if you guys want to see how to do it, then keep watching. Pork chops, I just put in a bag right here. Check your bag, make sure there ain't no big holes or any holes in it, as far as that goes. Now we're going to cook these on the grill later today, but we're just going to do a quick marinade. we got some Lowry's steak and chop seasoning, marinade, sorry. It's about a 30 minute marinade, but ours is going to set for about, uh, let's see, 10 o'clock to about, about six hours, about five or six hours. How long are we going to let this sit? So, let's get all your pork chops laid out in the bag. Open up the bottle, if it'll open. Take off the uh, Stay Fresh seal, which I should have already done. Thought my, thought my lovely wife over there did that, but uh, apparently she didn't. Yeah, me too. Where is she? I don't know. All right, I'm going to just dump this marinade in here. It's kind of good and thick. Get it all over the chops. I might as well use the whole bottle. It's already in there because you don't want to you don't want to reserve any of that. Which I should have. Could have put it on there later, but we'll see how this turns out. And then we're gonna get some of the air out of the bag. Seal it up. Make sure you get them coated real good. Just kind of give it a little wiggle and wobble there, you know. Get all that stuff all over them shops, turn it over. Make sure you get both sides real good. All right, I'm just going to go in the refrigerator for the rest of the day until we get ready to grill. Right. There, there you go. The ribs down with a dry rub, but first off, uh, I'm going to get them out of the bag right here. Get the old bag open. I'm going to rinse them off pretty good. Still got some blood and crud on them. Just butchered the cow this morning myself. Oh wait, these are pork ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to wash them off real good. It's pretty good, but I've got it all there. Alright, I'm just going to kind of get that water off of them. Gotta give them a little squeeze. I'm not going to wash them off either. Set them over here on the pan, and they're ready for a dry rub. So here in a minute we're fixing to uh, show you what we put in the dry rub. All the ingredients, we're going to mix them together, and then we're going to rub the ribs down. We'll let them sit for about uh, four or five hours, and they're going to go on the grill this evening too. Alright, so I've put two tablespoons of brown sugar here in this bowl. We're going to kind of keep that ratio with all the other seasonings. We're going to put some onion powder in here. We're just going to eyeball it. Don't worry about it if you get too much or too little. I mean, you really want to season up your ribs. You don't want them less. But this is some cumin. And then I'm going to put a tablespoon of uh, chili powder in there. If you don't like to shake it with a little shaker on here, you can always take that off. I'm going to put a tablespoon of onion powder. Just keep shaking that around. A little paprika for color and a little bit of a smoky flavor. I just keep telling my kids it has no flavor, but don't tell them that. All right, we're going to put some seasoned salt in here. I'm not going to go too crazy with that. I think I'm going to put about a teaspoon of the seasoned salt just because um, I don't want it too salty. Put some of this cracked pepper in here, which Dale seems to love so much. And then we're going to put a little bit of cayenne. So I'm going to go with a teaspoon of cayenne just because I don't want to burn my butt. So once you've got all of those ingredients in your bowl, you're just going to kind of mix them around a little bit, just like that. 
And if you want more of the sweet ribs, add more of the uh, brown sugar. But if you want more of the spicy, of course, more cayenne. So you're just going to mix it up like that, and you're ready to rub your ribs. So we're just going to uh, rib it on there. Just Dale's rub it in. Gonna, yeah, Dale's going to rub it in like that. Rub it in pretty good, you know, just like giving it a, a coat. You don't want a whole lot. Well, we don't like a whole lot on there. Some people like a, if you get too much, it makes like a paste. And I personally don't like that. Some people might like that pasty mess. Let me just give it a flip right there. I'm going to get the back side too. Get all them tips right there. Give it a good rub. Get that one right there on the end. That's a big old piece of meat right there. And these are baby back ribs, by the way. Um, you can get spare ribs or country style ribs or just whatever your preference. It doesn't really matter to me because when it's done, it's going to be good. All right, all of that. Got the back rub down pretty good, which that's where, that's where mainly just the skin is and bone, but it still, still bleeds through somehow. So we'll take the extra and try to get it on there. And then we're just going to take and wrap it with some plastic. After I wash my hands, I'm just going to put some plastic wrap over it and set it in the refrigerator and, and let it sit. All right. Okay, guys. So I am pairing our ribs and our pork chops with some corn on the cob. So all I've done here is fill up a pot full of water, put some milk in there, butter, salt, sugar, and pepper. I have a recipe on my channel for this as well. It's just really basic. I'm going to cook this corn until it's done and then when I go out there to grill, I'm just going to throw it on just to give a little bit of the grill markings and a little bit of extra color. So I'm going to go ahead and let this come to boil and then I'm going to work on my potatoes. Alright, so I just washed off my potatoes. All I'm going to do now is poke a bunch of holes in them and I'm going to put them in the microwave and cook them um, until they're about halfway done and then I'll finish them off on the grill. Uh, we also have this eggplant which Dale is going to do. He is going to slice that up and put some seasoning on it and melt some cheese on top. I'm also going to slice this onion into big hearty um, rings and I'm going to slap a little bit of butter on that and grill it as well. I have no idea to be honest what he's doing with these jalapeno peppers. Probably just eating them because he likes to eat peppers. He's a very spicy type of guy. So that's probably what he's going to do with them is throw them on the grill and just eat them like that. So we're just going to cover the ribs and cook them in the oven for, uh, how long would you say? About 45 minutes to an hour. What do you think? They should have already been in there. Well, anyways, we're going to cook them for about 45 minutes um, in the oven, and then we're going to take them off and finish them off on the grill, just like we're doing everything else. And the oven is set on 400. I got some eggplant here I just sliced up, maybe quarter inch slices. Salt and pepper. I'm going to put some Italian cheese, Italian four blend cheese. With some shredded, shredded cheddar. And on top of that, I'm gonna put a little Parmesan and garlic. It's just gonna be basically a cheesy type eggplant, and I'll put them on the grill for about five, ten minutes, and then we're good to go. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw our chops on the grill, and they are looking and smelling good. We're just gonna lay them on there. I love the grill. I love the smell of it too. I'm just going to lay these out, all of them will fit, which they should all fit. Kind of swish them around in your marinade in here, just to make sure they're all nice and coated. You can even take the leftover marinade and uh, put it on top, but of course once it's done, when you're done with it, throw it away, obviously. Put it right out there. There we go. 
So I like to take a little bit of the extra and kind of sprinkle it on there a little bit. Cover some of those little bald spots. That's what I call them, bald spots. I don't know what else you call them. Bear spots, I guess. So I just sprinkle that on there. And you're just going to cook these until they're done. It just takes literally just a few minutes. Probably about five to seven minutes per side. So I'm going to set that right there so I can do the other side with them too. I'm going to go ahead and shut the lid on the grill and go wash my hands. All right, now that our pork chops are done, we're going to go ahead and start putting the corn and the onions and the peppers on. I've already put a coat of butter on top of the corn and the onions here. So I'm going to try to put that side down on the grill. And that way, when I get ready to take them off, all I got to just do the other side. If that made any sense. So I'm putting the side that I coated with butter facing down on the grill. And remember, these are already done. We're just uh, pretty much getting the markings on there and some of that flavor. That way it doesn't take quite as long because the little kids are definitely hungry. Now these eggplant don't take very long at all. And keep an eye on those. You definitely don't want to walk off and leave those. So keep an eye on those. Smells like a steakhouse out here. Why is this one cut up? Uh, I did it like that so the little ones might eat it. Here, yeah. watch. Yeah, you might uh, use your hand and set that one on there. Be careful. Okie dokie. So, what I'm going to do now that the butter side is facing down, I'm going to go ahead and put butter on this side so when I flip it, I don't have to worry about that. So, of course, I'm putting melted butter on everything, because everything is better with some butter. Even on his jalapeno peppers when I do them, I put butter on those. Yeah. Alright. So, we're going to sit that there, and we're just going to keep an eye on everything, and keep rotating it, and that's about it. Alright, so we went ahead and put the ribs on. We took them out of the oven, took them out of the floor, and slapped those on. And uh, I've been rubbing them down with butter just to keep them really nice and moist. And we put the rest of the eggplant on and the potatoes. So I have rubbed the potatoes with uh, the melted butter. So I'm going to sprinkle some of the sea salt um, on the front and back of them. I just like them like that. And plus, uh, my husband likes to eat the potato skins. So it will be nice and flavorful for him there. So we're just going to... Cook the ribs, turn them just a few times back and forth to get that real nice color and um, flavor really deep in there. And then when they're like five minutes till ready to pull off, we're going to slather some barbecue on them. And that's pretty much going to be it. I'm going to give you guys a little overview of everything. Here's the ribs. Don't they look so good? I like to get all close and everything. That way you guys can kind of sort of feel like you're here. <laughs> There's the corn. Dell's jalapenos, my onions, mm -hmm. the rest of his eggplant, which I don't eat. And these beautiful and yummy pork chops. I tried these. Woo, these are good. And the uh, potatoes are over here. I took them out and put them in this little pan over here together. They're sliced in half, but I put them back together to keep them kind of warm. The bread's on the grill, so I'm going to go ahead and dish up everybody's plate. And um, I'll show you guys that, and then I'm going to chow down like there's no tomorrow. There might not even be any leftovers left for tomorrow. And there is all of our fixings. That's Dale's plate, by the way. <laughs> That's not my plate, but look how good that looks. <sighs> Take you in for a closer look. Oh, yeah. I know my foodies are going to love that. Looks so good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That is it. Let me tell you, it may take a long time preparing, but it is definitely worth the wait. I ate everything on my plate, husband ate everything on his plate, kids did the normal kid thing, but it was amazing. I tell you, sometimes I have to season stuff a little bit extra off camera, but I did not have to season one thing. The only thing that I did was put sour cream 
on my potato. That was it. That was amazing. You guys must try that. So if you guys have warm weather where you are, crank up the grills and you should do that. Okay. And if you do, leave me some comments below and let me know what you guys thought. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.